And still looking at the adverse effects of COVID-19, the world's biggest gold buyer, the Russian Central Bank, has suspended gold purchases due to the impacts from the coronavirus pandemic. For Ghana, which is Africa's largest gold producer, Grace Hamo Asari explores what this means to projected revenues. The gold market continues to deal with liquidity issues as mines and refiners close down because of the economic impact of coronavirus across the globe. Gold mining giant Rio Tinto and Anglo-American have reported production slowdowns due to coronavirus-related restrictions. This week, Endeavor Mining reported that a worker at the company's Haunde mine in Burkina Faso had tested positive for COVID-19, having first experienced symptoms while on site. And here in Ghana, a worker at Anglo Gold Ashanti's Obwasi Gold Mine also tested positive for coronavirus. The market is even expected to feel the impacts the more as a major central bank said it is not buying any gold from April 1 as volatility remains high. Ghana is Africa's leading gold producer with an output of 4.8 million ounces in 2018. Even before uh, situations like this would hit, they would have had some simulations, they would have had some um, training and education on that. So generally, the uh, extractive industries do very well, and, and I can speak more about Ghana. They do very well when it comes to situations like this. And uh, so far, uh, since the coming into being of this uh, uh, virus in recent times, we haven't had any huge issue. There's not been any kerfuffle uh, in terms of uh, negative impact. Uh, I'm sure most of the mining companies would have uh, you know, rolled out their protocols and they are keeping that very carefully. According to Deputy Director for the Africa Center for Energy and Environmental Sustainability, Gideon Fusupiasa, this presents an opportunity for Ghana to learn some lessons. The good news for us as a country is that our main trading partners um, in gold are China and the rest of the world. We, this includes Hong Kong, um, the United Arab Emirates, Switzerland, Turkey, and then India. The key lesson for us is to keep diverse um, trading partners in order to cushion the impact of such random global shocks like what is currently happening today. Gold prices are currently struggling to find consistent buying momentum.